Hello, my favorite fellow wrestlers. My name is Johnson 166, and ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Drama Club Romance. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why are you playing a dating simulator? Because I'm lonely. For one. For two, I'm just looking for a game that's kind of like Doki Doki Literature Club. But uh, this is a this is one of the closest I can get. So we are not going with John. We are going with. You know what? I think it's time that he actually gets some love. Is that not okay? What? <laughs> What is... What? Maybe Dark Cena. Oh, and that works. Oh, wait. That's the last time I ate a <laughs> burrito deluxe before club. Wow. Now I'm running late. We gotta hurry. As the leader of this club, it's my duty <laughs> to be a steadily... Steadler example of dedication and punctuality. I don't know why I'm rushing anyway. It's not like anyone's gonna scold me for being late. That's right. The club I'm in has only one member. Me. <laughs> that sounds like Dark Cena. I'm not the only leader. But the sole member of our school's drama club. I've got a good minute left. Just around this corner. Jen, look out! Huh? Huh? Curse! Whoa. Ow. Dark Cena would not get hurt. As I get up, I see a girl half sprawled out, sprawled out on the ground in front of me. You're about to win Kaido, your first choice. It's up to you how to respond. Apologize. Ah, oh no, I'm sorry. No, no. My bad. I'm... She stops mid-sentence, and I can't help but look at her out of the curiosity. I realize it's Jane. My old school friend. Yikes. Why is she glaring at me so hard? <laughs> wow, this could be like the past of Je Dark Cena, like why he became who he is. Actually, she hates me. But it's okay. I have no ill... I have no ill will towards her. Oh, Jane, I'm so sorry. Face is still in shock. She sits there. Skirt... Disheveled. Legs completely exposed. Oh, crap, I can feel my face burning red. How she doesn't notice. What should I do? You're about to make your first premium choice. Some choices cost rubies. Okay. Look at her. I run toward her to help her up. My eyes are drawn to her slender toned legs. <laughs> oh my god. Why? Why? Why did you have to zoom? She could totally be a model. <laughs> oh, she could totally be a model. Or a movie star. They look so soft. I reach out to touch them. They feel a lot better than I remember her. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I kind of want to touch them. Wow. When did she start filling out in all the right places? Before I knew it, my gaze had sh shifted up from her legs to... <laughs> I know I shouldn't look, but why can't I look away? Pink! Oh my god! <laughs> well! She quickly closes her knees and pulls down her skirt, face bright red. Oh crap, did I just say that aloud? <sighs> did Jane notice I was looking at her? Uh, I mean, are you okay? I was totally not looking at your panties. <laughs> 
Get it together, Dark Cena. That's your childhood friend. Here, let me help you up. She slaps my hand away. Pervert! Back at How dare you! Well then! You stupid moron! <laughs> she stares up at me with her face flushed with anger and embarrassment. Pervert? Suddenly, I can feel the eyes of every student in the hall on me. She quickly gather, gathers her things and runs off. Oh man, I missed a big time. Jane must be so mad at me. But at least I know her favorite color now. <laughs> the scene replays in my head. Oh dear God, don't tell me. Oh my God, no! Her slender long legs and her pink burn into my mind. I feel my face getting red again. And then... Her angry, flushed face comes up in comes up to my mind. I quickly shake my head to get the images out of my head. Perhaps she was mad at me. <laughs> Perhaps, maybe, I don't know. I don't know, just the fact that she smacked my hand away, I don't even know, man. But somehow, at the same time, it was worth it. <laughs> that Jane, why is she so cold to me? Though I will admit, there's some se something sexy about a woman of few words. <laughs> well. <laughs> I start to blush. I shake my head when suddenly... Hey! Whoa, you are like Matsuki. <laughs> oh, crap. Did someone see that? Dark Cena, are you okay? Ah, uh, it's just you, Heather. What do you mean, just me? You sure know how to make a girl feel special, don't you? Holy moly, what on earth happened to you? Your face is beat red. <laughs> oh, crap, she can tell. Nothing, I just, uh, mad. Right. Uh, I'm just so mad. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Oh, about that girl that just literally bowled you over? <laughs> Tell me about it. How rude can people be? She could have at least said sorry. Heather bends down to help me pick up my papers. I quickly avert my eyes to avoid another wardrobe mishap. No, kind of deserved that. It's fine, I know she hates me. What? You? She googles cutely. <laughs> Wow, you're like the nicest guy I know. Finally, someone understands. Someone finally understands how I am. No, she's probably flirt. She's probably fir flirting. How could anyone hate you? You must have done something really naughty to make a girl hate you. She giggles again. Why am I blushing again? Would you ever hate me? Well, that depends. How naughty are you planning to be? I feel myself blushing more intensely. Naughty? It's not what I meant at all. I know, I'm just teasing you. Chill out. Why does she do this to me? Anyway, I still think that girl was rude. I wonder what her deal was anyway. Maybe her panties are on too tight. She let out a cackle. I feel my face growing even hotter. Why did she have to say that word? Whoa, you're red again. She touches my forehead. I I'm fine. Are all girls' hands soft? This soft? <laughs> Just as I think that, she pulls her hand away. Oh, I wanted to feel her cool touch a little bit longer. Anyways, I'm running late for club. You should really see this girl on there if, you if you're feeling sick. Oh, and Dark Cena? Try not to knock into any more girls today, okay? I might get jealous. Am I dating this girl? With that, she giggles and runs off. Jealous? Alright. Drama club. Now I'm really late. Well, at least know what it would bonus. us. I hurried to the drama club room. The best thing about being the only club member besides getting to sit there reading manga all day, is that nobody will nag you for <laughs> being late. Huh? 
See a black haired girl standing in front of the club room. Oh yeah, she's the shy character. Wait, who's that? Why is she standing in front of the drama group? Drama room. Oh, this is bad. Whoever she is, I can't have her seeing me enter at this time. I don't want her to know that I, the club leader, am late to my own club. And more than that, I don't want her to see that I'm the only member. <laughs> Suddenly, she glances my way. Her heart skips a beat. Uh-oh. My eyes, our eyes meet. Met. Hey! Guess she's not so shy. Since her eyes met, does that mean I'm obligated to answer? I could feel her staring intensively at me. I slowly look up to meet her gaze. Oh, hey, she's pretty cute. She's pretty cat. Wait, I've seen her around before. Um, hello? She blinks shyly. Her voice is soft and cute. She's so familiar. Why can't I put my finger from, on from somewhere? And what's her name again? And why is she in front of my club? Uh, Earth to Dark Cena. Is this a bad time? She knows my name. Now I really feel bad. How should I respond? Sorry, you're on person. <laughs> Welcome to the drama club. Oh, it's you, Stacy. Welcome to the drama club. Um, it's Shannon. She shakes her head and lets out a disappointed sigh. <sighs> Stacy, hey, how's it going? My name's Shannon. Yeah, I was testing you. Oops. Right. That's what I said. Shannon. That's right. Now I remember. We were in the same art class last year. You have really horrible memory. Ouch. <laughs> I'm just being insulted by cute girls left and right today. Anyway, welcome to our amazing drama club. I regret to inform you, though, that all of our members are currently on field trip, so... Field trip? She blinks at me suspiciously. Why, yes. See, every month we... Her expression turns imp impatient as she sighs. Look, I already know about the one member thing. You don't have to lie about it. Crap! How'd she know? Oops. Embarrassing! Yeah. But... You still want to join? Well, that's why I'm here. Wow. That's dedication. Well, in that case, welcome to the club. <laughs> but, why do you want to join the join a club with only one member? I could ask you the same. Why would you want to run a club that consists only your, of yourself? Touche. <laughs> why does he say all this stuff in his head? <laughs> Oh, that's pretty funny. She continues speaking before I could think of an excuse. But if you must know, I'm just looking for a new creative outlet. I've been at art club for so long, it's a little boring. I thought it would be a good idea to level up. Join drama club. Maybe help out with the fashion part of it. Maybe. You know, since I mainly draw fashion anyway. Oh, that's right. She used to be great at drawing outfits in the art class. Well, I don't see why not. But seriously? I'm not sure whose costumes you'd be drawing. But after all, there's no actor, no other actors here. It's fine. Uh, <laughs> just get me out of that boring art club. Deal? Okay, why not? Sweet, thank you. She smiles sweetly. Hey, can I ask you something? Oh, yes. Why do you continue to stick around this club if you're the only member? Well, oh, well, that's because my sworn duty as a man. I'm cursed. I'm waiting for someone. Truth is, I'm waiting for someone. Waiting for someone? For who? Like an ex or something? Someone? No. I suddenly burst into a fit of coughing. <clears throat> I mean, of course not. But all jokes aside... The truth is, I really am waiting for someone to join. Well then, why not just find someone to join? No, you don't understand. It's not just anyone. So who is it? Is it like 
Your secret crush or something? Her shy eyes blink curiously at me. Why is she looking at me like that? I, I never said that. I turned my face away, embarrassed. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Shannon also looks away, embarrassed. I don't care if you tell me or not. If... Wait, Google Play said that she's a shy person. Wait... Did they just throw me off? Freaking... But they must be important to you if you... If you would go through all this to keep the club running just for them. Well, you see, just then something falls out of a notebook she's holding. Ah! The paper flo floats to my feet before, before she could grab it. I bend down to pick it up. Wait, please don't look at it. Don't look. Uh, I saw nothing. I, cl I quickly hand, her the hand the paper back, closing my eyes. She snatches it away. Thank you. Oh, she looks embarrassed. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. It's just a little embarrassing. She slips the paper back into her notebook and glances away. <laughs> but why is she embarrassed? Truth is, I did get a glimpse of, draw of the drawing. It looked like she sketched... It looked like a manga character sketched to me. Maybe she's embarrassed for liking manga. Suddenly, a voice pierces my concentration. You two, stop right there. Uh. A teacher who I'm not too familiar with sashays over to us, glance, glaring at me. Dark Cena, correct? She looks back and forth, eyeing both, of our, both our eyes intensively. Yes, that's me. Something the matter? Her head snaps, snaps back towards me. Why, yes, something is much the matter. I understand you are the leader of the drama club, correct? The one and only. No, it's her. I don't want to push her like that. It's the one. Oh, why, yes, I am. The one and only. Exactly. And that's the first problem. Seems that you are indeed the one and only member of this club. What is she getting at? In any case, it is my absolute dismay to inform you, her voice drips with sarcasm, that we will have to shut down your drama club. No! Continue. Aha! Dang it! I stand here, frozen. What did she say? We'll have to shut down your drama club. As soon as possible. She shoves some papers at me with a sly look of victory in her face. Wait, why? What are you... You stutter way too much. How are you the president of the club again? Of drama club again? That's besides the point. I followed all the rules. So why now? The teacher looks at me and snickers. <laughs> well, that is the point. The rules have changed, you see. Just consider this your lucky day. My mouth hangs open. What do you mean, lucky? Close your mouth. Fly might get it. <laughs> Close your mouth, boy. <laughs> she crackles villainously. Of course you're lucky. You will no longer have to confine yourself to this silly one-man club. I'm practically saving you. How? With this abolishment of this with the abolishment of this club, you will be allowed to choose a new club, more suited towards your skills. How dare you? I am skilled at most things. Um see no. Didn't know. We could no. No, I don't. Skills. I don't think you understand. This is my passion. I want to be here. I'm afraid you don't have a choice. But this is not an option. This is not an option. But an... Ultimative. I don't know what that is. <laughs> As I mentioned, because of the changes in the school's club policies and the current state of our budget... We will have we have had to m make several changes to the rules. Then 
please explain these new rules. I promise I will do everything I can to continue to go to continue to go in accord accordance with them. She scoffs. As if it were so would be so easy. She waves the papers up and down in my face. <sighs> you are a piece of crap. <laughs> What's this for? Her eyes narrow, and she grins menacingly. Oh, I'm so glad you asked. This one explains clearly that clubs with less than three members will be abolished, and members will be relocated to different clubs. She shoves a different paper in Shannon's face. And this one is the registration form to join a different club. Oh, but I just joined. Two is still less than three, honey. But I wanted to join the drama club. If you like drama so much, I recommend you do. Right, might recommend you the dance dubbing club instead. Same concept, really. You'll get to be on stage, perform with twenty other brilliant young ladies like yourself. Anyway, rules are rules. Besides. Even if some miracle were to recruit more members, it would it still wouldn't be enough. There's more. I look at the paper. Clubs with no results from their activities will be abolished. She flips her hair dramatically. <laughs> Crap. <coughs> like I do quite a bit. Exactamundo. That's not even a word, Miss Teacher Lady, piece of crap. <laughs> okay. So even if you did find two new members of or ten, unless you also come up with at least one way of having something to show for it, it still wouldn't count. Results? In this school... Crap, I skipped something. Crap. Book log. Backlog, okay. Okay. In this school, we want to make sure our students are always working or learning. And not spending precious club time reading comics or something silly like that. She rolls her eyes... As she says the word comics, I look away embarrassed. That's exactly what I do during club by myself every day. I've done so much to keep this club together. Can't you give us a, a chance? We can find another member, no problem. She heaves a sigh. <sighs> I could tell she's growing impatient. You have a week. Here. She shoves the rest of the paperwork in my hands. What's all this? It's the paperwork required for closing down a club. Since you won't make it anyway, I'll be coming back next week to collect the paperwork from you. Good luck. With that, she spins on, she spins on her heel and walks off with an air of victory and a menacing grin on her face. Wow, she really wants this club gone. Well, what are you going to do? We must keep fighting. Well, I brought, this, I brought the club this far. Can't just let it go down without a fight. Yeah, and I just joined. She has a look of disappointment on her face. I don't want to let her down either, especially since she just joined. Right. Can't close down a club with a, me with a member who's only been here for 10 minutes. We'll figure this out. Her eyes brighten up, and she looks up. Well. Just then, she opens her mouth at the, at, as if to say something, but pauses. Does she want to say something? You know, she pauses. I might know someone else who would be willing to join. Wait, what? Really? I'm surprised. This cute, shy girl who's who just joined is really willing to help me? Well, yeah. We were best friends a while back. Actually, we haven't spoken in a while. But she did like drama, so... Oh, another drama fan. This could be helpful after all. Then our problems are solved. 
you're a lifesaver, Shannon. But, um... She hesitates and turns her eyes down with a sad look on her face. Actually, I don't really know if she'll say yes. Why is she changing her mind all of a sudden? I thought she said it's her best friend. Shannon's eyes begin to gloss. Actually, never mind. Forget I said anything. She quickly turns her head away. Shannon. Wait, is she crying? Oh no, I can't comfort her. Oh no. Oh my god, can I add? No. Oh my god, I can't comfort her. to comfort her. I can't. I guess we gotta go to do nothing. She quickly regains her composure and looks at me. That was odd. For a minute, it really looked like she wanted to cry. But she sure does look unhappy about something. The truth is, the girl was my best friend. We had some disagreements. I would like her to join the drama club. But I don't know if she would. Oh, I get it now. Girl problems. <laughs> hey, look. You don't have to pressure yourself on account of me. No, no, it's fine. I really want to join this club. I can't promise, but for the sake of this, for the sake of the club, I can ask. I can ask her. Wow, I admire her dedication. Well, in that case, thank you. She blushes and looks away. It's nothing. Just then, she looks back at me as if remembering something. By the way, what about you? Didn't you say you were waiting for someone to join? Uh, well, she's right, I did say that. But I think I might be in the same situation as her. What if you ask that person too? I don't know. To be honest, I'm not, so, I'm not sure if that person will say yes either. How come? Is it someone you like? She looks away when she says this. I never said that. Uh, actually... Just a friend or someone who hates me. Ooh, someone who hates me. Actually, she hates me. Hate you? Why? It's a long story, but... Oh, I might have done something really dumb in the past to her. Oh. It's a girl. She muttered something under her breath. Huh? Did you say something? Huh? Oh, nothing. Nothing. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, I'm not sure if she'll join either. But we really do need more, more need new members. Maybe we should ask people anyway. Those people anyway might be our only chance. Yeah, you're probably right. So what should we do? I guess there's only one thing to do, to do. Let's take a chance and ask them. With that, we split up looking for our friends. I hurry to find Jane before school is out, but where to look? Even that I... Now that I think about it, I don't even know what club she's in. Just then, through the corner of my eye, Jane? Sure enough, there she is, heading to the printing room. Oh, Jane! Please wait up! I call out as I rush to catch up with her. She glances my way, but doesn't stop. Wait! Finally, out of breath, I reach her before she goes in. Jane. Her serious eyes stare intently into mine. Yikes. Scary. What do you want? I'm busy now. What do I say? Please, wait just a minute, Jane. It's important. Important to who? I go... Right, why would she care about my problem after all? Oh well, look, if this has to do with that silly club of yours, sorry, I've already told you before, I'm not interested. Oh, but this time it's different. You see, if I don't find someone else to join, we're done for. She doesn't respond. I really don't know how to convince her. She seems so dead set on not helping me. Is it because I knocked her down before, or... Look, I know you don't like me very much anymore. But please, I need your help. Can we set, set aside our differences for, the, ju for just this once? 
We just really need a new man another member. Jane rolls her eyes and sighs. I knew it was coming to this. Look, I'm sorry, but why should I care what happens to your stupid club? As far as I'm concerned, it's better off gone anyway. Ow! Ow! Ugh, she is not nice. Ah. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Then the school will have more le leeway to support the clubs that actually do something. Ouch. She didn't have to be so blunt. Besides, I have enough to do in my club already. It's called hard work. You might want to try it sometime. As she says that, she shifts, the, she shifts the stack of books and papers into her hands. Well, that looks heavy. Speaking of which, I don't even know what club she's in. But she seems pretty stressed. Um, you have a lot of books there. Do you need help? I'm fine. I don't need your help. She shifts the weight of the stack in her hands. Just then, I see a photo she flutter out. It looks oddly familiar. Huh? Who's that boy in the photo? Wait, it looks familiar. Is that? Just then, Jane pushes her foot over the photo. Hands too full to pick it up. I said I'm fine. Can you please go now? But wait. The photo looks kind of like... Don't look. I can't look at it. That photo looked like me. But it can't be. Jane looks at me impatiently, not moving her foot at all from the photo. Please. Can you go now? Jeez, I don't, I don't like this girl much. I mean, she's, she's cute and all, but the god dang. No way she'd let me see it. She'd probably get mad if I asked. I'm sure, it's just my imagination. Fine, I understand. I'll leave you alone. However, I just really want to ask you to reconsider. I'm really sorry for everything I did to make you upset. So if we can put our differences aside and be friends again, just like the good old days. Jane interrupts me. Be friends? You say it so easily, as if you forget what you've done. What I've done? What I did to her. I never did any... I, ne I never did have any ill intentions towards her. I could remember how good friends we were before she had this un unfortunate change of heart. And then, it all starts flowing back to me. Images of that night I had blacked out. And the reasons why she now hates me. The thing I did that she could never forgive. Okay, well I am going to leave this episode here. Do I have to, like, continue on? I have to hit continue on. Okay, so I'm going to leave this episode here. That is all for this time. If you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like. Subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time. If you can't see me, I'll be back.